Deportivo Alaves 1-4 Real Madrid, Benzema X2, Nacho and Vinicius Jr. Here is the immediate reaction to the first game of the season. Up soon. Player ratings, press conference highlights and the post-game podcast. The new season is upon us, and Real Madrid look as unprepared as ever after leaving players such as Dani Ceballos and Martin Odegaard out of the registration list for the league. Although this could quickly change, rumors about the latter player have been flying around the internet linking him with a move back to Arsenal. This exclusion has only further encouraged these rumors and means that neither player would be available for the season opener. One player who did manage to return to the lineup was Gareth Bale, with a fresh new number 18 jersey. He was joined by debutant David Alaba in a strong yet predictable lineup. Three Castilla players made the bench for the first competitive game, with Tony Fudias looking to have secured that vacant third goalkeeper spot in the squad. The lack of recruitment over the summer coupled with dubious departures has created a bleak tone by the fans regarding the upcoming season. Many feel like this is a squad unable to compete for any serious silverware, however the team looked sharp in possession during the first half, despite the loss of key leaders within the team in recent times. Alaba really stepped up and looked comfortable in his new surroundings, and the team appeared well prepared for competitive football after a unique preseason schedule due to COVID-19. They created a number of chances as well, albeit from distance. Eden Azar, Gareth Bale, Karim Benzema and Luka Modric all came close from the edge of the box after some positive sequences. Alaves also looked good on the ball and created fewer yet closer chances as Jose Lu poked the ball wide. The half finished goalless. Real Madrid improved upon their dominance early on in the second half by taking the lead through Karim Benzema. The assist by Eden Azar using his back leg to flick the ball up for the French striker. It quickly became two after a loose Luka Modric ball was met really well by the stretching Nacho Fernandez, who acrobatically beat the keeper. Benzema was soon in action again after Fede Valverde carved his way through Alaves before finding Karim who after a few bobbles managed to sneak the ball into the net for three. Before I could finish applauding, the hosts were handed a lifeline. Eder Militao played a poor back pass, forcing Thibaut Courtois to chop down the oncoming John Guidetti. The seemingly never-ending walking curse which is Jose Lu then stepped up to take a very strong penalty and continue his impressive scoring run against his former club. Brazilian boys Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo Goes were brought on to replace Hazard and Bale, but this did not prevent Alaves trying to chase that dream comeback as they piled on the pressure. Isco, Marco Asensio and Luka Jovic were introduced to break up the play, 